Nice. And up next, I want to work on the about page where effectively we'll have two column layout for the info as well as the picture. And then here at the bottom, again, we're going to use a list. So technically, these would be some featured recipes that you want to display. Again, normally, this is going to be dynamic. And you'll just pass in which recipes you want to showcase. But in our case, we'll just use our recipes list, the same one that we used in the tag template, this one over here. Now, in this case, however, we only want to pass in three. So in the tag template, we set up four. But in this case, we'll just go with three. And effectively, we will reuse that list few more times throughout the project. And the setup is going to be exactly the same where again, I'm looking for about HTML, I have my page. So I do have the structure. And here, let's set up those recipes first. And you know, what? I'm gonna navigate here to the about page as well. So we can see right away. And once we set up those featured recipes, so the recipe list, then we'll worry about the rest of the content. And inside of the page, we want to go with a section. And then let's add about page. So this is where the info uh, as well as the photo are going to be located. And then we want to go with another section. And then let's just call this featured recipes, recipes. And I actually don't think that there are any styles with it. But let's just add the section with this class. And then inside of it, we want to go with heading five. And we're looking for featured title. And I'm sorry, this is a class. So let's say featured title. And the only reason why I'm adding here this class is because I want to place the text in the center. And again, technically, we can use this feature recipes. But if I remember correctly, the heading five was already in the card. So that's why I just went here with this class. Again, long story short, basically, we'll set this one in the center. And then as far as the text, let's just write look at this awesome sauce. And right below it, this is where we want to place all those recipes. So let's go back to index HTML. And again, we're looking for the recipes list. Same deal. Now, in this case, of course, eventually we'll remove one of the cards, at least in my setup. But if you want, of course, you can keep all four. So we copy and paste the list. We're looking for what we were looking for about HTML, correct? Got a little bit lost over there. And then right after the heading five, so within featured recipes, we want to copy and paste. And like I said, in my case, I'll remove one of them. So I'll remove the last recipe. And once we save, of course, we right away have our nice layout. And like I previously mentioned, effectively for this one, for the heading five, I just want to place it in the center. So let's quickly go to CSS. And we're looking for featured title, I believe featured, and we're looking for title, and we simply want to go text align and center. So now, of course, it's going to be in the center. That's the recipes list part. Now, of course, we just want to add that info, which is going to be here in the about page. And then we also want to add a photo. So let's set that one up. And in here, we want to go with article. So this is where the info is going to be located. And then right below it, we're going to go with image. And in this case, we're looking in the assets. And then more specifically, we're looking for the about one. And then as far as the alternative, I'll just say pouring salt. And we'll also add a few more classes to the image. And those are following we will go with our IMG. So the global one, as well as about IMG. Now, when it comes to info, we're looking for heading to and we'll just type some kind of text. And you know what, in this case, just so we can speed this one up, look for this project or the other one, and basically just copy and paste the text, there's really no point to retype that from the scratch. And essentially, I got this text, I believe, from the hipster ipsum, which is my favorite place to get Laura ipsum text, effectively the dummy text. And then we want to go here with the first paragraph. So there will be two paragraphs. And I'm just getting the text over here. If you want, you can simply type lorem and then whatever amount of characters. So you can go here with lorem and then let's say 20 or 10 or whatever. Now, in my case, since I like that text better, I'm just going to copy and paste. So that's my first paragraph. And then, of course, we're looking for the second one. And then at the very, very, very bottom, 
we'll also have the button. So let's say here button the class will be BTN. And then we want or you're not actually it's going to be a link. My bad. So let me remove my apologies. We're going to go with link. And this is going to be to contact HTML. And then we want to add the class of BTN. And let's add a contact. And since we have already global class for the BTN, that's why we have the look. And now, of course, we want to swing back to main CSS. And we just want to apply a few styles to about page. And I'm just going to keep this one in the bottom because I like to keep things organized that way. But of course, you can leave it at the top as well. And we're going to go with about page. We're looking for the heading too. So that's that main heading with that dummy text. So about page heading to and in here we'll say text transform and we'll set it equal to none. So there's no transformation because for all the headings we have that base transformation. Then as far as the font size, I'll go with bold. So I'll make it a little bit bolder. And then in here, let's also set up about page. So now, of course, I'm talking about that section. And first, I want to go with display grid, display grid. And again, by default, it's going to be that one column layout. But that doesn't stop me from setting up the gap, correct? So again, I have two REMs and then four REMs. So this one, of course, is going to be for my row. And then this one will be for my columns. And again, at the moment we have one column, so it doesn't really matter. And then we also want to set up right away some kind of padding here. And let's go with padding bottom three REMs. So that's going to be added to this entire thing. So now, of course, we have distance between the section, the about page and our featured recipes. And then we also want to target right away the image. And as far as the about image, well, we have the class, correct? So let's go with about hyphen IMG. And we're looking for border radius. And we use our CSS variable for that. And as far as the height, well, let's set it up as 300 pixels. Now, of course, the height is a little bit smaller. And then we also want to, of course, go with some kind of media query because on a bigger screen, we'll have a two column layout. So let's set up a media screen. And as far as the size, let's go with and and min width. And in my case, again, I went with 992. That was just my preference. And we'll target the about page. We'll set up grid template columns, grid template columns as one fraction and one fraction. So we have two column layout. And then when it comes to rows, I'm going to go with 400 pixels. Now keep something in mind where of course we'll have only one row. And essentially what I'm doing, I'm setting up the height for my row. And then I'll use the height for the image and I'll set it equal to 100%. So effectively, as a result, my image is going to be the height of my row. So let's try it out over here. We'll say grid template rows. And we're looking for that 400 pixels. And then of course, in here, we'll go with align items, and we're placing it in the center. And I'll comment this one out in a second, just so you can see why we're adding that one. And let's go with our about IMG. And then in here, we'll go with height. And like I said, we're going to go with 100%. So now what happens on a small screen, we'll have this look. So once I make my screen size smaller, it's going to look something like this. And then once we get to 992, we have this two column layout, and then image is the height of my row. And since text is smaller, now, of course, we're placing it in the center. Now, if I'll comment this one out, you'll notice that text is all the way at the top. So let me put it back in there. And now of course, we have the about page completed as well.